Hey everybody, we've just launched a brand new update to the web graphics creator and I wanted to show you the three things that, uh, that we've updated here. Uh, so this new version is, or this updated version is version 1.0.5. Let me, uh, let me show you really quick. When you click on one of the thumbnails, up here in the left hand corner you're going to see the new version. If you don't see this version number, you're seeing 1.03 or 1.04, come up to the menu up here and you're going to clear your browser data to kind of refresh everything. So when you clear your browser data, um, make sure you only clear the cached images and files. Don't clear cookies, don't clear your history, don't clear any of your cookies, you know, the uh, passwords or anything. I don't want to mess up your computer. But this just clears your cache images. Um, and this also frees up about 8 megabytes of memory on my computer. So I'm going to clear the data. Okay. So back to version 1.05, a couple of things we've done. So let's just click on a thumbnail. And you'll notice that we've added a number one most requested feature, how to tell which font you have selected. You'll now see the font displayed of the text item that you're clicking on. Um, if you change the font, like you say, uh, dancing. That's one of the script fonts that I know I can type in. Now I will always remember that this, I click on it, and go to text format, dancing script. Handy little feature. The other thing I wanted to show you, let's go back to the designs. When you resize the canvas, it's a lot easier to, to view the full, uh, the full picture. For example, let's go back to our example. I'm going to go to format canvas and I'm going to set the width higher. And you'll notice the higher I go, my screen now displays uh, full screen, but it, it shrinks it so you can see it all. So keep an eye on this number here. As I go higher, higher, this is now 37%. Now I can go bigger to see it all, but it just makes it easier to, uh, to see everything when you expand the canvas. So let's try that again. Let's do this one. And I want to make this, I, I don't want a Pinterest size, I want a really huge banner. So I'm going to format the canvas and I'm going to go even further and higher. Now I can make, now I have a canvas that's almost 3,000 by 3,000. And you'll be able to see everything and grow and sh shrink everything as needed, depending on your monitor. Pretty cool. Okay, and the third thing in this great update version 1.0.5 is the, the YouTube channel graphics. Uh, so here are the big uh, the big graphics and they don't mean much until you click on one of them. Now we're going to go to the format canvas. And you're going to see a brand new uh, button up here. It says YouTube designs. If you select this button, you're going to get an overlay that's going to show you how to place your graphic correctly for your YouTube channel. So. If you look really closely, you'll see that this says desktop minimum, tablet, desktop max, uh, whatever these, these lines mean. Here's how to use that. I want the dog's eyes here, I want the message here, and I want to make sure this is full screen like that. I want to place basically my entire uh, graphic inside of this middle square here. I can probably try the outside square, but for now I'm going to do this. And let's uh, let's export this. Download my image. We'll call it YouTube Dog. Download it, and it's going to go to my downloads folder on my computer. On my YouTube channel, this is the banner I'm going to replace. So I'm going to go to Customize Channel on my YouTube. From the admin, I can, I all see this button, Customize Channel. And I'm going to go up here to this little pencil icon, and I'm going to change my channel art. And I'm going to upload that dog image that I just downloaded from my downloads folder. Here's YouTube dog. And now the guidelines that I showed you earlier are going to display correctly for here, for here, and for here. Now, uh, I see this bit black. Well, let's see what this looks like first before I go into this. Select it, and in seconds this should change. There we go, cool. Uh, now I have a big white space here, so. Ah, there it is, I didn't see it. 
Okay, so we're gonna make our picture bigger. Put the dog's eyes, and now I know that I can put, make this a uh, little bigger like this. All right, let's try that. Download. Okay, back to my YouTube channel. I'm going to replace this now. Edit channel art. Upload from my downloads folder. There, now there's no black, no spaces. This empty spot should fill up. Ta da! Okay, have fun with version 1.0.5. More updates will be coming soon, and I'll keep you all posted.